blend it out a little. Blend, 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 blend. Just blend, just blend. It's pretty. It has like a slight sheen to it. Like a kind of purpley sheen. You can see that. It goes with my nails. <laughs> For this really dark green. Oh, I'm gonna make a set with these. Hi there, my lovely sleepy squirrels. I hope that you are well. This evening I have some makeup to unbox, some makeup and accessories. Um, it's just a few bits that I got on sale on Sephora's website. Before we get into this box and this box, there are two boxes. I'm just going to spend a few minutes making some sleepy cardboard sounds. If you just want to see what's inside, feel free to skip ahead. Timestamps are down below. Otherwise, enjoy.
So now that we are hopefully nice and relaxed, let's have a little look inside. There is Sephora tissue paper, which is just um, like a sheet of white and a sheet of black. funny seeing the things that I got. Um, it was quite a while ago. I have been waiting to have the time to film this video and I'm just remembering all the stuff that I got and it's funny when things are on sale you don't really shop for what you need. You kind of go through this, well I do anyway, <laughs> I go through the sale and look if I can get any like higher end pieces for cheaper just like be lucky that my color or my shade or the one that I want is the one that's like completely um, priced way down you know but yeah I got some fun little things let me show you everything one by one I'm gonna start with this accessory I got a tangle teaser vented blow dry hairbrush um, I got this uh, because I want a brush for after the shower. Um, I have like a little tangle teaser, like a handheld one, which is fine, but I do want one with a, a handle just to make it that touch easier. And this one is apparently good for blow drying, which I rarely do to be honest, but Looks pretty nice. Fast and easy to use. Perfect for fine to medium hair. Yeah. That's me. The easy dry and go hairbrush quickly dries and smooths the hair with volume and lift. Okay. Meet Sean P. Hi Sean P. The inventor and founder of Tangle Teaser. I invented Tangle Teaser from my experience working as a hair colorist. I revolutionized the hairbrush category with detangling. Now I'm doing the same with blow drying. From years of research, it was evident that innovative teeth technology was the answer to not only gentle detangling but fast and fuss free blow drying too. Join me in becoming a believer that the power is in the teeth. And then he signed it at the bottom. Sean P. <laughs> Why does Sean P? Is his name like Sean Paul and he doesn't want to, you know, get people confused? So patented teeth technology, interesting, award-winning unique teeth configuration, quickly dries and smooths the hair for you, delivers natural volume lift and smoothness, teeth and vent work together for a faster dry and style, lightweight handle for on the go, do not use with straightening irons, yeah I wasn't, I wasn't gonna Okay. Let's pop it out of this packaging. Oh, it is quite light actually. Ah, I see. The underside of the handle is hollow. It has like a little fingerprint here. That's actually quite cute. I like little details like that. Can you see? I guess to put your thumb like that maybe. Or like your finger. Not sure. Okay, they're kind of like like that. They look like they've just been like melted down or something. You know. Yeah, they're very like uh, bendable. Okay. 
like probably this okay so I have this mini macaron le mini macaron and it is a French gel polish brand I wonder why I only have one <laughs> I think I probably like had a few in my basket and by the time I went to check out they were probably like not available anymore so I just grabbed one Winter green. That sounds nice. It's probably a pale, pastely, greeny blue. Or just green. Let me pop this plastic seal off. I hate these things. <laughs> I just realized that maybe the top of this lid is actually the color. That would make sense if it's like a dark green. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why, I was thinking it was going to be um, a light kind of green. I guess that's the kind of colours I've been going for lately. So yeah, I went for this really dark green. Oh, I'm going to make a set with these. They're going to be gorgeous. Shiny, glossy, dark, dark green nails. Winter. I'm gonna like that for some nice wintry videos. I'm gonna be starting to film my December videos soon, so that is gonna be maybe one of the colors I'm gonna use. I will obviously be having some Christmassy nails from advent calendar videos and stuff, but maybe this will be the other. Um, this is a little accessory wise and this is to okay let's do this one first we have a Fenty Beauty by Rihanna a portable touch up brush oh, listen to that that is lovely I really want the, um, I don't know what they're called, they're like foundation sticks. I wanted some in the sales, but just the colors just weren't going to be working for me. Not even as contours. They kind of suck you in by putting one of the colors that are like really cheap. And once you get there and start looking at colors that would be fine for you, the prices just shoot up. Instant filter effect. Magnetized and always on standby. Yeah, they have like the little hexagon um, packaging that kind of clicks in with the others. That's pretty cool. I'm trying to think what I have from Fenty Beauty in this like format. Pair with magnetized Invisimat blotting powder. Okay. Um, this is 130 portable touch up brush. I have a highlighter in this kind of format from Fenty. Um, maybe a blush. I can't remember. Only one thing in this shape though. The other, no, the highlighter is in like a palette, like a little kind of thing, you know. It's pretty, it has like a slight sheen to it. Like a kind of purpley sheen. We can see that. Goes with my nails. <laughs> the little FB there. Oh, it's so cute. I 
wanted to twist it up like it was a lipstick or something, but so yeah, just a little brush, pretty soft. I have to say, it doesn't look like it's gonna be soft, but it is very soft. That's pretty nice. And then a little fluff there. Magnetized. Yeah, it's kind of heavy, like a like it was a foundation stick or something. Hmm. Even then, I know it. Oh, it does. <laughs> it does come out like a lipstick, I guess. Does it? Oh, no. It doesn't turn. Well, it does turn, but it's not like a screw kind of thing. You just pop it up and down. That's cool. Yeah, I really like it. This will definitely be a little, um, Next, we have a Sephora Long Lasting Fiber Brow Pencil. Um, in the sales, I will always grab um, like an eyebrow pencil <laughs> if there are one, like if there are ones on sale and they look quite good, and, um, especially if they have a little like bristly part, like a little spoolie. This is medium brown, so quite dark for me, I'm surprised. color. No, it is medium brown. So yeah, we have a little spoolie. Got a flat one. And it's a pencil pencil. So I would have to sharpen. Yeah, that's pretty dark for me, but you know, that's fine. If I had it Sparingly. Oh, I chipped my nail, the polish off of it. This might be the last time I can use them. Okay, oh, they've had a good run. I did these months ago and I've used them so many times. Okay, let me just blend it out a little. Blend, 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 blend. Just bully, bully. <laughs> Okay, I mean, it's fine. I will definitely be able to use it. Okay, what should we look at now? This fun thing here. We have a watermelon mask stick. That sounds fun. I actually have a mask stick that I got from Glossy Box, I think. Um, and it's like a clay mask, a rose clay mask. And it's alright. I just get a little bit of ick from like swiping it on my face and then closing it up but um yeah this one is a nourishing watermelon one so it might be a bit more fun than the clay kind of drying one a mask formulated with watermelon of natural origin to nourish and brighten for a beautiful skin in only five minutes and you just put it on, rinse with warm water. Yeah, that's actually written just on the top there. Let's smell it. That sticker is right over it. Okay, once again, I hate these little plastic seals. The sticky ones or non-sticky ones. when you've got long nails. Okay. Ooh, looks a little thick. It smells lovely though. It smells very much like watermelon. Oh, I better not twist it up too much unless 
I want to get it squished in the lid. Sometimes you can squish it, like you can like twist it up and it doesn't go back down again, so be careful. Not this specific product, but I mean products like this in general. Okay, I'm looking forward to that. This looks like the kind of mask I could do with my daughter. Is it just because it's all fruity and fun and coloured that it seems like it could be okay for young, young skin? I don't know. I'll have a look at the ingredients maybe and see. It's cute though. Would be a nice like little gift, I think. I'd like to pop into a little gift baskety kind of thing. Okay, what do we have? We have some skin stuff. Yeah, let's go for that first. So I grabbed a Zoeva Authentic Skin Natural Luminous Foundation. I have never had any um, like base, like foundation skin uh, products from Zoeva. I think only accessories. Not makeup, makeup. Inspired by Zoe's vision that every woman should feel comfortable, beautiful and confident. Authentic Skin Natural Luminous Foundation was designed to allow you to build your perfect coverage whenever and wherever you feel you need it. Enhanced with the nurturing power of rosehip oil, it glides on to give a smooth and weightless finish, allowing your skin's natural luminosity to shine through. Okay, that sounds absolutely lovely, but to be honest, um, with foundations, you just have to try it on your skin. Like, the, the description of it doesn't really mean much when you haven't tried it because it'll just react completely differently on my skin than it would to someone else's. So, 060N Brave. And basically, I use um, a website that um, compares foundation shades between brands and gives you like what your shade is likely to be in a different brand if you give your brand, like your shade, in a few different brands or anything, you know. So I put my profile in because I know my shade in a few foundations and it will give you a good idea. Okay, let's see what it's like. Oh, is it actually square? It looks like it might actually be square. Yep. Glass bottle. Appreciate it. I have only ever had a glass bottle of foundation smash once and it was on a holiday to England. Just once. And it was fine. There was a boots like two minutes away from where we were staying. Is this going to be a pump? Yeah. When a foundation doesn't have a pump, I have to admit, I'm really disappointed. <laughs> okay. Whoop. Okay, that's way too much. <laughs> Let me... see that the shade is not too bad. Um, maybe a touch yellow, but then it is on my hand, so I'll have to see. It does look a touch yellow or a touch dark. Mm, maybe not dark, but yellow. I'll have to try it on my face to be sure. And at the same time, I grabbed a Authentic Skin Perfector Retouch Concealer. Also 
people from Zoeva in 050 certain. So I am brave and certain. Oh, I feel like it's squared off too. It is a lot lighter. Is it? Mm, it looked like it might have been lighter, but Hopefully it's a little lighter. Ooh, it's a weird applicator. Look at that. You can see it kind of bends. Boop, boop. Mm. It's quite a thick concealer. I mean, I just really have to try it on my face to actually know how it really is going to sit. I mean, it feels very smooth. Everything feels very smooth. Velvety. There's no like odour. There's no like scent to it, which is good. Well, that's a really smooth lid. Listen to this. Wasn't that very satisfying? So is that in glass too? It is. So I'm happy about that. I'm more and more interested in glass packaging. Just knowing that only 5% of plastic is actually recycled. And that's not even 5% of all plastic. That's 5% of plastic that we try and recycle is recycled. So imagine how much Plastic is actually recycled. If you get what I mean. Okay. So the next item is also kind of a foundation-y type thing. It is a stick foundation from By Terry Nude Expert Dual Stick Cover and Glow Blending Sponge Vanilla Beige Number Seven. So By Terry is a brand that I don't really have anything from. I've had like one or two things. I've had a mascara and recently I've been using a, um, what's it called, a finishing powder. But apart from that, I've never had anything from them. Oh, look. That's pretty nice looking. Here. I'm gonna have to twist that up or something because that just went right down. Okay. What's well, strange? Am I supposed to like use them one at a time? Or like pop them both on at the same time? I don't. I feel like I'm just getting more of this one and not more of this one. Cover and glow. Or are you just supposed to like put both like mixed in? Maybe I would say. So I popped a swatch on. Does that mean we have a little sponge here? Oh, we do. Okay. Like to dab and blend. This is like really awkward trying to do this on my hand. <laughs> so, I mean, really, we're not really <laughs> getting much of an idea of how it's gonna go because it's my hand and not my face. So, let me. Okay, it has a little touch of a scent, but nothing too bad. It's like kind of just smells clean. It feels pretty smooth. This one feels a little more velvety, I would say, but to be honest, I really need to try it on my face to test it. But by Terry is pretty nice, I think. Intensive mimetic camouflage technology. Ooh, that sounds cool. Can you guys see? 
in color. I may have got shades that are too dark for me. We'll see. And that's like <laughs> face and neck kind of thing, you know what I mean? <laughs> can always mix with other foundations. I have been doing that. Um, I was nervous to mix foundations before, but now I'm just like, yeah, whatever. Let's do it. Enough of you commented um, when I asked last time if I could <laughs> um, mix them, saying that, yeah, just go for it. There's no reason you couldn't. As long as it works well, there's no reason you couldn't. Unless one is like water based and one is oil based or something, but it's fine. Okay, what else do we have? Uh, we have some Marc Jacobs. Um, I've never had anything Marc Jacobs before, I think. Maybe like a tester of a mascara or something from one of the beauty boxes, but this was pretty cheap. <laughs> compared to like the normal price. So it is Omega. Oh, and like exclamation mark. Okay, I get it. Omega Daddy O. Gel Powder Eyeshadow. Gel Innovation Cult Color More to Love. just like a little cover. Oh, that looks creamy, doesn't it? Looks very smooth. Let's swatch this. Oh, that that's very buttery. Wow. Oh my goodness. Look at that. That is amazing. <laughs> oh my goodness. Look at that. I can just like completely <laughs> that is just from one swatch I've got all of that that is very smooth and very pigmented and very blendable that is so nice oh, wow that is gorgeous I'm in love with this <laughs> I um, have absolutely no memory of how much this cost, like, full price, but I'm pretty sure it was extortionate, in my opinion. Um, but there's probably a good reason for it, because, I mean, that is... I've never actually had an eyeshadow that looked that good from just a little swatch. It's very buttery, very easily blended. I mean, it looks like a mess on my hand because I've just put a load on, but I can imagine why it's so expensive. Wow. Okay. It's pretty nice. So yeah, Daddy-O Omega Shadow Gel Powder. Yeah, I mean, it's really, the texture is really strange. Gel powder. <laughs> Okay, so that is everything in the first box. So we have our brush. Pretty cool, pretty exciting. Some foundation. Little brush. Touch up brush. retouch concealer, eyebrow pencil, a little 
gorgeous winter green. I think they're going to be almost like black sleek nails but they'll just have like a touch on the green side just enough to be just like wow nice. Little mask and this gorgeous eyeshadow. I mean it looks really like a big mess on my hand because I put so much but I can get over how gorgeous that looks. Can't wait to try it. Let me just pop this to the side and grab the second box. So, I opened up the second box and realized that there are three kind of kits in there. Like they are all very similar little kits. And then this mask. So I thought I'm just going to do a part two with all the little Christmassy um, kits. It's a benef two benefit kits and one Too Faced kit and they're from last year's Christmas collections and then this very squishy mask um, so I'm just gonna leave this video here with this little mask as the last thing I'm gonna show you and do a part two with the other things so this is a Sephora dragon fruit vitamin mask vitamin B3 as you can probably tell already from the heat 95% of the ingredients are from natural origins and it is banana fiber tissue. Is dragon fruit the one that is like the one that smells weird? Am I just thinking two things that aren't linked? Okay. A mask using tissue made of banana fibers infused with a vitamin serum made up of a super ingredient from natural origin works in just five minutes. I like this one. Fruity masks only need five minutes apparently. Dragon fruit, a tropical fruit known for its level of vitamins, it helps purify the skin and hydrates, it's efficient, forms a protective shield against pollutants for a fresher, more luminous, revitalized complexion. A vitamin shot for your skin. B3. Okay. This will be a nice little treat. So, I hope that you enjoyed this video. I haven't unboxed like fully just like makeup for a while just like unboxing beauty boxes and stuff but not like Sephora or something like that it's been a while it's fun I do like this watching so I hope that every single one of my sleepy squirrels are well wherever you are in the world whatever's happening around you. I hope that you can find your own little bubble of calm. For example, if you are in Houston, Texas in the USA, like Jasmine and Ray, Hey Jasmine, hope you're well. And I hope that you all have a lovely, lovely, lovely evening. And I'll see you.